In a sea of white plastic monohulls or big bedroom catamarans, it's very rare to find a builder that's doing things so dramatically different that we have to pause for a second and kind of zoom in. Manufacturers like Kraken, who we talked about recently with their zero keel and alpha rudder system. But today, I want to tell you about Pure, a German firm that's taking aluminum plate and turning it into art. Art that goes very fast, has a shallow draft and no fluff. Just precision sailboats. Pure Yachts is a name that's quietly but confidently reshaping what a modern aluminum performance yacht can be. I'm going to show you videos they've published themselves on their YouTube channel and I'll link it in the description so you can check it out too. Based in Kiel, Germany, this small builder doesn't just assemble sailboats. They engineer tools for serious offshore sailors who care about strength, weight and precision. The company was founded by Matthias Schernikau, who took over an old shipyard and transformed it into a purpose-driven facility. It's not just any old workshop. This place includes 38,000 square feet of build space, direct access to the water, a 60-ton crane, everything you need to fabricate and finish high-end aluminum yachts in-house. The team is small too, just around 20 people, but they're masters of their trades welders and carpenters and composite technicians. These aren't just employees, they're craftsmen working in a shop where the culture is about quality over quotas. Pure Yachts focuses on semi-custom aluminum sailboats in the 42 to 50 foot range, each one built to sail efficiently and endure anything from shallow estuaries to transoceanic passages. All boats are designed in collaboration with Berkmeyer Yacht Design with engineering support from Martin Menzer. And what you see in every model is a commitment to smart, modern naval architecture. The boats feature high freeboard, a powerful shear line, and clean functional profiles. These aren't meant to sit at the dock and look pretty, they're built to move. Take the Pure 42 for example. It's a light displacement cruiser with an aluminum hull and a vacuum infused composite interior. There's a lifting keel that ranges from 4 feet all the way down to 10 feet, twin rudders and a well protected sail drive. The entire platform is optimized for shallow draft cruising without compromising upwind performance. At under 10 tons of displacement with about 1,000 square feet of upwind sail, it's capable of impressive velocity made good, especially for an aluminum hull. For reference, a similar GRP boat, let's take the Sirius 40DS, is 11 tons to this boat's 10 and has 860 square feet of sail to this boat's 1,000. By market standards, this will be a much faster boat than most comparable boats. And then there's the Pier 49, a more expedition capable pilot house yacht that stretches the performance envelope even further. We'll do independent episodes in detail about both of these boats later, but the 49's got a lifting keel, water ballast tanks, carbon rig, and an aggressively modern sail plan. At around 13 tons, it's still extremely light for its class. The upwind sail area is roughly 1,500 square feet, and with the fathead main and cutter rig, the boat is perfectly balanced for both short-handed and long-distance sailing. And despite the pilot house, visibility and ergonomics are tuned for sailing first, comfort as a second. One of the things that makes Pier stand out is how focused they are on structural efficiency. Their hulls are meticulously welded and fared. They use aluminum for robustness, but not at the cost of weight. Interiors are crafted from lightweight composites to keep the center of gravity low and the weight distribution clean. Every interior layout is customizable, not just in terms of materials, but actual structure, bulkhead placement, tankage layout, keel geometry. This isn't a one design production boat. It's a collaborative project between the builder and the owner. What's interesting is that while hulls are currently fabricated in the Netherlands, everything else is done in keel. Rigging, systems, installation, joinery, it's all happening in-house. And there's a plan to bring that hull fabrication under their roof in the future, making Pure one of the few European yards capable of taking on a project from plate metal to sea trial without relying on outside contractors. 
That level of control is very rare in this industry and it shows in the results. For propulsion, they use the dependable Yanmar diesels. But the systems are simple, no overbuilt power networks or gratuitous electronics. Think lithium batteries, efficient solar input, and straightforward access for maintenance. Because reliability is part of the design brief. Everything is to be serviceable in the middle of nowhere, even the deck hardware, Harkin, Lumar, Antol, is chosen performance and longevity, not aesthetics. You can see the philosophy in the helm as well. Twin wheels or tillers, direct linkage, no hydraulics unless absolutely necessary. The idea is to give the sailor feedback, not filter it. This is a boat that you drive, not just ride. Every control line is led logically. Winches are placed for one person operation. Deck layouts are clean. Friction points are minimized. And the whole boat feels like a proper tool. And for those wondering about appendages, those foils are designed with lift and leeway in mind, not just course holding. Twin rudders provide authority at high heel angles. Lifting keels are structurally integrated and engineered for high loads. There's water ballast to manage trim and heel dramatically. It's all deliberate, very functional, and very well thought out. What's refreshing about Pure is that they're not trying to be everything to everyone. There's no marketing gloss, no flashy super yacht deck plans. They're just building exceptional sailboats for people who know the difference. You don't buy one of these to show off at the marina. You buy one because you want to chase horizon lines, push your skills, and go further than most people would dare. That's the kind of ethos that's incredibly rare. In a world where a lot of boats are being built to meet spreadsheets or sales targets, Pure Yachts is building boats to meet wind angles and wave heights. And if you care about performance, reliability, and the freedom to sail without compromise, that makes all the difference. Now, some interesting things. The keel that retracts runs in a computer cut sleeve that fits to the nearest millimeter and Pure says, at anchor or sailing, it won't rattle around or make any annoying noises while you try to sleep. But they also say that if the sails are going up, the keel needs to be all the way down. This may just be HR sort of health and safety speak because after the Bayesian disaster where the keel was up and the boat inverted, no one can afford to take any chances. But food for thought, putting the keel all the way down before hoisting the sails means effectively that you have a 10 foot draft everywhere you sail. Any less and you'll need to fully retract or douse the sails falling back on the Yanmar. Basically, if you're in the Bahamas, you're motoring, but maybe that's okay. This boat is so new, we don't have any sail test data yet, but on paper, it should be faster than any other 40 something foot white plastic boat and more capable of ocean crossings. As for the cost of this thing, well, there aren't any publicly for sale. And because it's such a custom ordering experience between Pure and the buyer, they're hard to quote, but our understanding is that a sale ready 42 will come in right around $900,000. A tremendous amount of money compared to the French boats, but about par with other world cruisers from the likes of Halberg Razzi or Amel. I for one can't wait to see what these boats look like out in the wild and what Pure do with the sail tests and full ocean crossings and different things sailors are going to do on these things. But what do you guys think? Is Pure trying to make the perfect boat here? Simple, rugged, and focused on sailing quality first. Let us know in the comments if these things interest you. Also, did you see the article we just posted about the Nonsuch 30? Speaking of unique designs, the freestanding mast and that wild rig are definitely the first things I notice when I pull into a new marina or anchorage that's blessed to have one of these boats in it. If you feel like some reading, the article is definitely worth your time. I'll leave a link in the description. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you like cool new sailboats, hit the subscribe button so I can see you again next time.